Hey guys, my name is Matt. I'm a graduate student at the beautiful University of Tennessee Space Institute. I'm about to head to the office and work on some high-speed shadow graph of ballistics. So if you want to follow me, come take a look. I'll make you guys jealous of my job. Let's go. Now YouTube is just filled with a bunch of guys who just film stuff in slow-mo. We can do that too, and if you just want some eye candy of some cool videos, our channel is filled with them, so feel free to check them out. We want to be a little bit different than all those slow-mo guys though, and actually dive deeper into the science and the physics behind the clips. There are so many cool phenomena to observe in these clips, so let's learn about what they are and how we made these awesome clips using Shadowgraph. So Shadowgraph is a really cool and actually pretty simple way to visualize flow. It allows us to see the changes in density of a fluid. Now it does this by taking advantage of how light passes through mediums of different density. See the density of a fluid directly changes its index of refraction, and any changes in this refractive index will affect how light passes through it. These changes can cause light to deflect or shift a little bit. So you've probably observed this effect for yourself in nature, just say if you looked at maybe a straw in a glass of water. You know how it looks like the straw is bent or broken if you look at it from the side? Well, because water and air have different densities, any light that passes through the water into the air deflects a little bit, and it causes that broken image effect that you see. Now imagine you take a light source and a backdrop. Through uniform air, a light ray travels directly to the plane undisturbed. Now let's introduce a density gradient into the light path illustrated by the circle. Instead of traveling straight to the plane, the light is refracted some, hitting the plane in a different area. The area where the light would have hit is now darker, or in other words, it's a shadow, thus the name Shadowgraph. Now we don't want to use just any old recording plane. To get our gorgeously crisp videos, we use this retroreflective material. It reflects light right back in the direction it came from. That's why it looks so bright just from my cell phone's light, and so uh, not when I cover it up. Pretty cool, huh? And also very expensive, but also so worth it. Here's a very quick run through of our setup. If you'd like a more in-depth explanation, please let us know in the comments, we are happy to provide. But the basics of the setup we're using is this LED is our light source. The lens focuses it down onto the uh, expensive rod mirror and um, that bounces the light onto that fancy retroreflective material. This then bounces the image back into our high-speed camera. Now here we are focusing down that LED light onto the rod mirror. It's a pretty tricky task that takes at least three people to do. You need one person to do all the work and two people to film it for social media. Now that we know how the physics and the setup work, let's dive into a clip. Besides just being cool to look at, there are a lot of things we can learn from the videos. The first and easiest thing to see is that the round is subsonic, which means it's going slower than the speed of sound. This can be determined by observing how the projectile travels slower than the sound waves propagating out from the firearm. This wave here is what creates the boom that can be heard when the firearm is operated. If you were a bystander located here, the moment the wave passes over you, you would hear the We can even tell the exact speed of the projectile through image processing. We know the frame rate that we shot at, so we can calculate the time between frames. We then can trace the position of the projectile in two subsequent images. We can take our location one in one frame, and measure the position in a second frame, this will be our location two. The difference in these two locations is the distance the projectile travels in a frame. This distance divided by the time gives us the speed of the bullet. This speed is originally in pixels per second, but we can convert it to feet per second since we know how wide the bullet is and can measure its width in pixels in order to make this conversion. All right, here's a clip of a different round. Using the same logic of comparing the bullet to its surrounding sound waves, we can determine that this round is supersonic. You can see it outrunning all the acoustic waves around it. It also has these strong shock waves hugging the side of the round, which is another indicator that it's supersonic. A shock wave is a type of propagating disturbance. It's caused by an object or wave moving faster than the local speed of sound. You see the air in front of this disturbance doesn't have the time to get out of the way in a smooth orderly fashion. So there's a sudden change in pressure, temperature, and density as the air gets smacked by this disturbance. And here's a clip of a shotgun slug, and let me tell you, these suckers packed a punch. Am I, am I good? Yeah, 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 just go. I'm not mad at all. And like the 270, this round is also supersonic. It overtakes a sound wave, but this shockwave is a little bit detached from the bullet. This type of shockwave is known as a bow shock. 
Well, hey again, guys. I'm just hanging out by the on-campus lake after a long day. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you maybe learned something about Shadowgraph, had a good time. I know that I did. Shadowgraph isn't the only thing that the Horizon Research Group studies. We also visualize fluid flow with oil, high-speed Schlieren, which has one small thing that gives it quite the edge over Shadowgraph. And when we explain Schlieren in a future video, you'll know just how terrible that joke was. We also visualize fluid flow with lasers. We do some computer simulations and some other stuff you guys can check out on our channel or our website. Thanks again for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye.